We all know the story. He was kicked out of heaven because of his obsession wanting to be God. In Eden, he sold this you are God doctrine to man as well, just as he did with a third of the angels. <laughs> Both stories did not end quite well. They say old habits die hard, partly true, as Lucifer still has the same obsession till now, and he is still trying to sell the same old lie to man through his ministers. God didn't want us to just memorize the word. He wants us to become the word, becoming the very word itself. And there's a sense in which I am like God and man all at once. Within me is a God man. Now let's say even better than that, let's say I am a God man. When I read in the Bible where he says I am, I just smile and say yes, I am too. But if the Godhead gets together and say let us make man, then what are they producing? They're producing gods. But I'm going to say to you right now, you are God. At a certain period, the apostles thought they were humans. When they tried to stop others from almost worshipping them. They said, these are not humans, these are gods in the form of men. And they were right that you also have the potentials to become gods if you believe in Jesus. You are a little God. You tap into who you really are. You know what the Bible calls you? It says you are a little Elohim. Yeah. You are a little God. Benny Hinn made a public apology for having taught such doctrines of devils. These false teachers and prophets should likewise do the same. But we know who they are and we are not going to give them an easy time taking the flock into the depth of hell. <laughs>